Welcome, let's discuss central angles and arcs in a circle. Let's consider the following circle, where the center is at point O. If we choose two random points on the circumference of the circle, let's call them RS. And if we connect those points to the center of our circle, Notice that we have created an angle. And this is the angle that we refer to as a central angle. So based on this illustration, we can say that a central angle, it's an angle that is created when the center of the circle is connected to two points in the circumference of the circle. And very important, the vertex of this angle is always at the center of the circle. Let's move this a little bit down. Because there's an intersection on the circumference of the circle, then we have created arcs in the circumference of the circle. The arc that is created right in front of the central angle is what we refer to as the minor arc. And the notation that we have is that we're going to choose both points in that arc. And on top of it, we're going to draw a small arc. It's not a straight line, but there's some curvature. But what about the arc that is not in front of the central angle? We refer to that as the major arc. So we cannot call this arc RS because it can get confused with the minor arc. So let's introduce a new point. Let's call it T. So now we can refer to the major arc as arc RTS. One thing to mention is the relationship between the central arc and the minor arc. And that is that they're always of the same measurement. So let's say that we give a variable to the central angle, let's call it x. Then what we are saying is that the measurement of angle x, it is equal to the measurement of the arc rs. And this will always be true. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.